system. And it's people that behind the system that are perpetuating the system. It's leaders in our country who say, fight, 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 fight with all your might. The only problem is they don't want to do it with their kids. Mm -hmm. yes, they want to do it with our kids. Right, sure, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. All right, I'll see. We're going to have to come back to I'll see it because we have this brother here on that's going to go take us back to ancient Africa. I'm going to take you back to ancient Africa. And the reason why I'm taking you back to ancient Africa is that all man, all mankind, black, white, yellow, green, pink, purple, all mankind originated in Africa. Uh, some 12,000 years, uh, man began to, oh, maybe even earlier than that, 150,000 years, uh, man-like creatures uh, began to uh, come about in East Africa. By 100,000 years ago, we know that they were actually human beings who uh, had come together in East Africa in parts now, oh, I guess, um, Ethiopia okay. uh, and, and that, that part of like Africa. Tanzania, Kenya. Tanzania and Kenya, okay. Uh, Uganda. And for some reason, these people began to migrate. And they migrated north, but they didn't migrate north and west, they migrated north across the uh, uh, land bridge and they went far east up into what we now call Asia. And from Asia, they moved westward. And the last group of people uh, or the last place that these people resided is in Europe. But since childhood, all of us have been taught that we were not even part of this family, that, that we were not real human beings. In fact, slavery was based on the fact that you could treat these people, they weren't people, these things, uh, uh, in any old way because they were uh, lower than human beings and maybe just a slightly higher than some of the animals that they had around the house um, because they were not human. But science has begun to the, uh, show the lie of this. And if we um, read, and I wish all of us would read, there are so many books out, there have been so much uh, information that is available that will tell us who we are. And one of the most interesting uh, things that I have read um, just recently, and that was, I read it in the Bible. Now, I've been in church since my parents uh, baptized me. No one ever told me to read um, Genesis, the second chapter, verse 7. And I'll quote it. And it says, quite interesting, and the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living soul. The Lord God also planted a garden to the east of Eden, and there he put the man he had formed. There also was a river flowing out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it was divided and became four rivers. The first is named Pison. It flows around all the land of Havilah, where there is gold, high-quality gold, and onyx stone. The name of the second river is Gishon. It flows around all the land of Cush. Mm -hmm. C-U-S-H. People leaped over, glossed over, passed over the word Cush. Cush is the ancient name for Ethiopia, and some say the ancient name for Sudan. And so the question is, if the Garden of Eden was in Africa, what does that tell about the early inhabitants of the Garden of Eden? Sure, sure, okay? sure. So, I mean, this is in the Bible. Mm -hmm, sure. uh, scientists, of course, have, have dug and found that, as I said before, that these ancient people uh, started in Africa. 
And as we go down through history, um, the greatest, the greatest um, ancient nation was the nation of of uh, Egypt, and starting about 5,000 BC, uh, we have the Egyptians. Well, we have a King Menes who united both uh, northern or what we call Upper and Lower Egypt. Mm -hmm. We we jump to 3,000 to 2,500, and in, uh, Egypt introduces the calendar. 365 days. Um, uh, go from 2,500 to 2,000, um, and they built the first libraries. And there was a, a, the literature and the lamentations. Let, let, uh, me, let, let me stop you there when you say library. I met a brother from um, Egypt, mm -hmm. and we were talking. He, he, um, he watched me studying for years, uh, you know, and he come over, come over to me, and we were talking about uh, Alex Alexander, the, uh, you know, great mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, um, conqueror that came through. We talked about some of the pharaohs. We talked about a lot of ancient history. And he said something. He said, you know, in Egypt used to be the, the best library in the world, the biggest library in the world. Yeah. He said, and then... Alexandria? Uh, yeah, I believe it was. Yeah. Yeah. And he said they burned it down. Mm -hmm. The Western powers burned it down. Mm -hmm. And you know what I said to him? And I said, well, you know... He said they burned the library down. I said, well, you know what? Someone knew that you wouldn't rebuild the library. So, In other words, see, it's like if someone was confident enough to know that once the library was burnt down, he mm -hmm. said all over Africa, people would come there, take them mm -hmm. days, months to get there to study at this library mm -hmm. in Alexandria. And he said that, uh, I think he said the Romans or whoever, or Alexander the Great, one of them, burnt the library down. I'm not sure who... No, uh, Alexander the Great, actually, um, the library was there before Alexander the Great, but Alexander the Great, who wasn't, uh, um, well, he was Macedonian, uh, whether or not they consider that European or not. But he uh, saw the value of the library, and he increased uh, the, 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 the library, and, and he was very much interested in, in expanding the library. Now, uh, the reason why the library was burned down was in those days as it is now. Um, when there's a war, you try to destroy the best that your enemy has. I mean, we destroyed uh, in, 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 uh, in Japan, um, we, we, how many, 10,000 people out of shot? Uh, to, to bring the Japanese to their knees. Well, we destroyed um, them and, and take, take uh, Iraq. Most and, and Iran, they, uh, not only did they destroy the, the museums in Iran, they looted and took home many of the great artifacts because they said, these, these people are nothing. And, I mean, and these people long uh, dated Europeans. So, 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 you know, if, if, if you're an enemy, you don't care about uh, about libraries or art well, let me ask you this right here, but uh, trying to stay on track more uh, with the ancient African history, because uh, I think it's important that every group uh, identify them themselves. Like right mm -hmm. now, we we want to stay with ancient African history mm -hmm. because if I was in a you know I've seen settings where the ancient you know the, the uh, more scholarly uh, 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 Asians when they talk they don't never bring us in. That, you know what I mean? They never, mm -hmm. they never include us in this, this uh, wealth of culture. So I always know that we include everybody. I know this the liberal thing to do, the the right thing to do. But let us. We only got about ten minutes. I want you. Uh, oh, I, I, want I, think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think we, I think, I think, I think, I think we can, we can answer that that question right. by the fact that um, because Africa was was the very first. Of the continents, yes. Uh, uh, so much of of Africa has been destroyed because slavery became the locomotive for the wealth of the rest, especially the wealth of Europe. And you can't enslave a man if you're enslaving him on one hand.